I have some 60 year old azaleas that bloom well. They have a lot of lichen. White scaly bark on them and the branches are dying. What can I do to keep the lichen from growing on my azaleas? And this is Bertie from Nashville. All right, so Joel and there's lichen. Yeah, on the I, branches. I would like, yeah. And Pitcher would be. There is no Pitcher problem nice. with lichen on branches. Right, That's right. a symbiotic relationship. Okay. It shouldn't be killing the, them, but right. if the branches are dying, it's from something else, and the lichens usually are on decaying right. you know, wood, so there's something else going on. And if they're 60 years old, then you know, you're going to get some dieback with age. Um, Fertilizing the azalea, that old of an azalea, yeah, and proper years? pruning wow. of it is because you want to, if it's got lichens on it, that means it's shady. Of course, azaleas like shade. Maybe it's too heavy a shade. Maybe there's too much water. Right. I mean, they, it's, you've got to look at the whole picture. Right. But the lichens are not killing. Right. It's a symptom, but it's, they're not killing the azaleas. Right. The lichens are not the killers. And it'd been real nice to have that picture. Oh, picture it's just, would be you know, great. Because I'd like to know how big they yeah, are big. and where they're it's at. And, oh, wow, and wow. you know, like I said, it just depends. And good pruning, good air circulation through through the plant would be good. And, uh, you know, you don't prune azaleas except after they finish blooming. Right. Um, and then you want a nice angle for, for the bottom of the azalea mm -hmm. at the base should be the furthest out. And the, you should go at an angle back to the top of the azalea so that the light can get to all the Pitch. areas so you get good, good. Brain, good. Do good flowering. Um, so, you know, some good proper pruning, mm -hmm. some thinning maybe, good fertilizing, because you usually fertilize right after you um, prune them. Okay. Same time, usually in, after they finish blooming, you prune them and then you put fertilizer down all at the same time. Ah, that's good. Anything to add to that, Mr. D? No, that's pretty much it. I, I, just like you said, the lichens uh, depend on light. Right. And they have the algae that that uh, that uh, has to have light. And any time uh, with any kind of plant, when when I see lichens start to grow, that means that it's getting more sunlight. Mm -hmm. It's able to get more sunlight, and so. But they are not taking any nutrition out of the plant. And anything you can do to increase the foliage, to thicken up the foliage, that will reduce the lichens. Uh, and uh, so if you can make the plant healthier, then that's what you're talking about, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. by pruning and nutrition and yeah. those kind of things that will, you know, make the plant healthier, then it will reduce your, your liking. Uh, uh, it's, it's a really interesting relationship, the symbiotic relationship. It is, it's an it? algae and a fungus and, 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 a, and a lichen. Yeah, and, and, and a yeast. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah. but it's not taking any nutrition at all out of the plant that it's on. Yeah, yeah. yeah the fungus yeah. provides the structure. Mm -hmm. And algae, of course, mm -hmm. the food, the photosynthetic process. So That's it correct. is, it, it's neat, it's a yeah. neat relationship. We hope you loved the video. We would love for you to ask more questions. Be sure to leave those questions in your comments.